Hey there, YouTube. Mr. Fedora Man here, back again with the next part of Let's Play Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones. Alright, so we just got some units from uh, King Hayden of Castle Freelia. Um, and we're off to Ide, or Ide. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trustworthy party of vassals. Vassals. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. And what else? What's going on here? Oh. Facing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grotto. Grotto. So that's a weird. The group's first stop is the remote village of Ide, which was, until very recently, a part of Renee. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Renee with her own eyes. Not only do we see the devastation of Renee with Erica's eyes, we get two new units. So whoop de do it's gonna be amazing. That's it. Seth? Seth, yeah, I'm gonna talk about the lisp now. Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Renee and pass through Seraphue into Grado territory. Hmm, that would seem a sensible plan. Assuming of course that we can avoid any run-ins with Grado soldiers. Princess Erica. May I have your relief to scout ahead? From the sky, I don't have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. For yours to command, your highness, will you give us your permission? Yes, of course. Keep your eye out for enemy bowmen, Eldenessa. Yes, your highness, I shall. I shall, prove, I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. She seems very sincere. Sincere, yes, quite. Yes, quite. Apparently, Mulder is a gentleman here. Hey boss! I don't know why I did that voice, I'm gonna make him sound like an idiot. Hey boss, we found more villages right for the picking. One, two, three, ha ha ha, I'm a good war. With all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right, Bone, you're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. And I just realized from the last episode what Millennium Jester said. All these guys are so freaking ugly, like look at Bone here. Like, look at- ugh. He's nasty. Dad, bandits approaching. Hmm. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. Let's start with that village there. Go to it, boys. It's all yours. Cut down anyone fool enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. Oh, what a douche. And that's what happens if you let a village get destroyed. Luckily, these two are able to escape. Yeah. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing, it's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad, and I am your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly. We need you to... Yeah, we need to use some help. Please, someone help my son! Ah, this looks serious. Let's report back to Princess Erica at once. Oh shit. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible. But, but I cannot stay by, yeah, stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how far are the villagers? I spotted one injured person. He appears to be just a child. Father Mulder, can your staff help him? Ugh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid doing a priest joke here. Oh yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff, but I cannot do it from here. He's too far away. I must be near him. Well, you, you have to be near him, don't you? Crazy. Mm -hmm. Princess, please leave this to me. I shall bring the boy here. Alright, Vanessa, it's up to you. Very well, I'm off. Oof. So, with this episode here... Um... Yeah, it's actually pretty fun, and mainly for the fact that you get a, uh, you get these two units, Garcia and Ross. So Ross is what you call a journeyman. Now, he is one of the three recruits, or trainees, as they're called in this game. Uh, Ross is a journeyman, and he's one of the, the three trainees, which means he just starts at journeyman, which he'll go from level 1 to level 10, which then in the next battle menu, he will have the choice between the first two units. Pick those, he goes up to uh, whenever you promote him to the next one, so he gets pretty much an extra 10 levels, but lots of people don't think it does that much of a difference. I'm not quite sure myself. I, I don't think it's... Uh, 
as very much, but they are considered some of the best units in the game. So I'm probably going to use all three recruits, unless there's uh, certain people you don't want me to use. But other than that, well, let's get this kicking off. Let's take Vanessa here, rescue Ross, and bring him over here. Now Mulder is a priest. We we haven't run into priests yet on our uh, on our crazy adventure. So yeah. I take him, drop him. There. That'll save me some time. Maybe not, I don't know. This is terrible. What are we going to do? Those bandits are so close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed. Perhaps. People listen to me, you must close the village gates immediately. Hurry before the bandits arrive. Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am er my name is Arena. I'm a mercenary. Smooth move. A mercenary named Arena, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel, but don't worry, it's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I am Selena, a general in Grotto's army. So yeah, we run into the first general that we see here. Ah. But fortunately, Selena is a very kind and nice general, so she's not going to absolutely kill us because she doesn't know who we are. Is something wrong? No, uh, nothing. It looks like these villagers have some bandit troubles. I'd like to help, but I have orders. I'm to leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. You're armed, and you claim to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um... <clears throat> is there a problem? No, of course I'll help them. It's just, you're one of Grado's generals. Why... These aren't soldiers, they're people. Should they suffer because their leaders fight? I've petitioned your aid. Please take this as payment. What? Alright, get a red gem. Thank you. Alright. So now we're gonna have these enemies probably moving up and Garcia over here is gonna get attacked. Now Garcia is what is a fighter unit. Oh, and Ross is. Shit, Ross. You son of a bitch. <sighs> okay, Ross, if you wanna you wanna fight like that. So basically, to recruit Ross, you have to talk to him with Erica, and to recruit Garcia, you have to talk to him with Ross. So it would kind of go like this: talk. Hey, listen. My village is being attacked by bandits. My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe these thugs out. All right, just just take it. Yeah, take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait. I'm gonna fight too. But my father's out there all alone fighting those bandits. I've got to get him back as quickly as possible. Or get back to him. I'm the son of the great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. All right, I see you. Yeah, I can see you're not going to be swayed, but you must promise you will stay close to us. And that, you will stay close to us. So apparently, Ross is quite the fighter. All right. All right. Grab him here. Wait here, just for the fact that that bandit is kind of close, and I don't want him attacking Ross. Seth, go visit the village, boy. The most wonderful man rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had had an air uh, elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you on the battlefield. Elixir, nummy nummy. All right, let's send Gilliam. Gilliam, um, no, it's not going to be helpful here. I was just going to say Gilliam is going to be helpful. Then I realized lances owned by axes. So. And Gilliam and. Uh, Mulder have support like I'm gonna you I would I'm gonna check out support links myself because I don't quite remember all the supports. Actually I don't remember most of the supports. So I'm definitely gonna be relying on you guys to help me with uh supports on who I should get supports to and for who and you know all that good information. Oh yeah I should probably go back to what I was talking about Garcia. Garcia is a fighter. So the thing with fighters is they have very good attack, like you can see here, this strength is 8, but his defense is 5, so it's not bad, but fighters are, they kind of throw offense up for the loss of defense. So it's a little annoying in that respect, but, you know. Uh, yeah, no, not yet. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. Erica here, Seth, let's move Seth a little bit further here. What are 
something on this armory. Okay, so they've got some stuff here. I don't suggest buying anything just yet. Yeah, there's not a lot of use we have for some of these items. I'm just gonna use the uh, healing and to attack here. Maybe yeah, because I want him to get some experience, so. And then get friends to finish the job off. Okay. Now friends taking care of that. Move Molder up. Oh, got a vulnerary. Move Molder up and show a little bit of healing here. This is what healing looks like. Yep. This is that simple. Now with that said, moving on. So these bandits are definitely going to be moving closer to us. The thing is, they are on peaks, which makes it fortunate for us because that means they're going to have the. They, when you're on a peak, you have very bad movement. So like, see here now they've got good movement, but here on the peak, they don't have as good movement. They've got to move off of the peak. That's the thing. You get lots and lots of avoids. So you get 40 avoid for being on the peak and two defense. Just that you can't move a lot. Alright, with that said, let's use Ross to talk to Garcia. Dad. Ross, boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I could just run run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross. Alright, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. So, hoorah, we've got Ross and Garcia now. I could send Vanessa over here, but that would be a horrible idea. Because all these guys are axe wielders, so unfortunately... All these units who use lances and uh, more axes. We don't have any... Well, we now have axes, but... Let's send... Oh wow, that's even less of a chance. Let's not do that. Let's get Seth to take care of this guy here. I mean, like, Seth is actually pretty badass and will... Take out most anything that there is, really. Okay, I'm gonna have to play this a little carefully here. Now I could put Gilliam on that fortress because that's a fortress, and of course I can. Let's put France on the fortress then. So if it takes any damage, it will be healed up by that fortress. That's the that's the thing. Fortresses are not only defensive points, but they do heal you. So you could throw a you could slap on down a really good uh, tanking unit like Gilliam and let him take care of that. Now there's a village over here, but I think that the boss might attack me while I'm there. So I think what I'm going to do is not only kill this guy with uh, Erica, but I think I'm gonna fly Vanessa over there and she took some damage. I believe <clears throat> I believe I can. Did I use Mulder's turn yet? Nope. Okay, so heal her up. This is going pretty well. Oh wow, he's actually moving. Oh shit. That's not good. We might miss out on that other village down there. I mean, that's not much of a problem, but... I like to visit villages if I can. Maybe I should my units of back a bit, you know? Because it should take Vanessa at least two turns to get over there, yeah. Okay, how about... And 
this guy's dead, obviously. We got pwned by Seth, because, yeah, Seth is simply bad. There we go. Now we can pretty much choose who we want to attack him with. But I'm going to choose Erica, because, uh, yeah. How much does Ross do? See, the unique thing about Ross is he has a hatchet, which is fairly weak weapon, but it says it's lightweight and easy to hit with, which means it is a um, ranged attack as well. Let's see how much Erica can do here. And a critical could be nice. Let's take a chance. I'm not feeling dangerous today. Wait a minute, <laughs> who are you? I'm here to spell your doom! Oh, Ross can... Oh, that's gonna be really good for Ross if he can kill this guy. Yes, come on, do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Blast! Oh, come on, you were ugly, dude. So, boom, level up for Ross. As you can see here, Ross doesn't have... Wow. Thank you, game. Really needed that. You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Rene, didn't you? He's like, mm -hmm. Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Rene yeah, until around ten years ago. Oh. When I was a when I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Rene. Master Garcia, I know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Rene once again? I'm sorry. I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring goals. But my wife, yeah, when my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty would cost me. Dot, 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 dot. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her that I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I have no regrets, I'm the boy's father. <laughs> you, you blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross, if you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, like you. And yeah, because a warrior consists of you throwing your fucking axe at someone. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. You want to challenge me, Father? I'm a fighter. I'm the best in all of I. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad. Look like, yeah, looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. I raised him as best I could, but he's all, yeah, but he's right. I've nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad. Thank you so much for your help. Please stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, oh, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you. My father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift. But you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Rene was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked are Asbeth bandits. They are cruel beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers and... Oh, it was awful. I, I can't believe such things. Oh, Rene is finished, mark my words. The Grado Empire has stolen our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Ephraim would prevail, but... Rumor has it he's on the verge of being crushed by Grado's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with care. Dot, dot, dot. And now that he said that their thieves, we're definitely gonna run into one, hey? Ephraim. Oh, do we have backstory here? We do. Hooray, backstory. Three years ago. It's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim. Let's begin. Tell me, though, why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. 
I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting, and yet, and yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would, yeah, I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but I am your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So I would like to learn something of sort of play, if only a little. And maybe someday I can protect you in, in, our, in your time of need. So please, Ephraim. Alright, alright. How could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you. But I won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we've started, Erica. Complain? Me. Never. Hurt, 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 hurt. Family moment. Hurt, hurt. And... Oops, beg your pardon. Hey. And, yeah. What do you think just happened? Princess, are you alright? Yeah, some, someone bumped into me is all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness? But I totally missed that because I accidentally pressed the button. My bracelet? It's gone. Where could it be? Did that man... I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father, but Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentiment sentimentally get in the way of my duty. God damn, I'm not ready for these words in the morning. No, princess, we must retrieve your bracelet regardless of cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. So, there you go. Alright. That was quite a long episode there. Alright, I'm gonna save again just to be sure. With that said, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part of Let's Play Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. This is Mr. Fedora Man, signing off. Bye!